All right, Dr. Henderson with NeuroLuminance, uh, and today we're gonna to talk about long COVID. NIH, National Institutes of Health, just spent about $8 million uh, to research long COVID, and they figured out that long COVID has the following symptoms. Uh, fatigue, um, brain fog, um, cognitive problems, memory problems, and uh, sleep problems, and sometimes GI problems, and that's it. No treatment, <laughs> no solutions, no explanation as to the cause. No, they didn't find any of that out, but they spent the eight million wisely. So what is long COVID? Well, you have to understand the COVID, you know, I'm sure you remember the talk about the cytokine storms, right? COVID turns on inflammation, like on overdrive. That's what the cytokine storm is. And so one thing that COVID can leave behind is a residue of inflammation in the brain. The second thing that COVID can do is that inflammation, that cytokine storm can reactivate old infections. Now, one of the things that we know and that I actually have done research in is the fact that certain viruses can live in your brain very happily, very quietly, and not cause a whole lot of fuss. Um, and those viruses belong to the herpes family. One of those is Epstein-Barr virus and the other is herpes 6, and then herpes 1, the cold sore virus, can live in the brain too, and now has been shown to be associated with Alzheimer's disease. The other infections that can be reactivated by COVID are the tick-borne illnesses, Lyme disease, Bartonella, Babesia. So when looking at long COVID, you have to keep those three things in mind, inflammation, reactivated viruses, reactivated tick-borne illnesses. Now, if it's inflammation, we've got just the ticket. Infrared light therapy, the multi-watt infrared light that neuroluminance uses gets through the scalp and the skull and directly into the brain and dials down the inflammation. And so what we see for our patients with long COVID is they come in and they you know, get 10, 12, 14 treatments and all of a sudden they're not fatigued anymore. They can think clearly again. Their neurological symptoms, even tremor, have gone away and they're sleeping better. And sometimes they're sleeping better by treatment four or five, but there's something else that's kind of cool. Some of our patients that have come to us for treatment for long COVID, they had ADHD, had it all their lives. One of them in particular, he came to me about treatment 14, he says, doc, this is weird. My Vyvanse, a stimulant medication, it, it's making me jittery, so I stopped taking it. And here's the crazy thing, doc, I can focus just fine. I don't need it anymore. And in fact, He's gone back, he was a dentist, he's, he's down in Florida, he's at a very busy clinic. I talked to him a few weeks ago. It's been a year and a half. He is doing great. He doesn't need a stimulant medication. He can focus all day long. And that's pretty amazing. An added little bonus to getting rid of long COVID is that multi-watt infrared light therapy actually got rid of his ADHD too. So we've seen that for patients who have long COVID and depression, long COVID and anxiety. So a very exciting kind of, you know, bonus out of getting rid of your long COVID. Now, what if long COVID is caused by an infection? Well, the infection also causes inflammation. So the multi-watt infrared light therapy, along with treatment for the infection, that one-two punch takes care of it. All right, so we're gonna wrap up here on long COVID for the day. Uh, this, any questions, any comments, please feel free to reach out to me. This is Dr. Theodore Henderson with Neuroluminance, signing off.